Hey everyone, Liam here and welcome to my 2024 Monte Carlo semi-finals vlog. Really excited to share this with you guys. Saw some amazing matches between Stefan Ostitsbas and Yannick Sinner and Novak Djokovic and Kasper Ruud. Walk the grounds, try to get as much content as you got for you guys as possible. So I hope you guys really enjoyed it. Please let me know in the comment section below what you think. But before we get into it, I am going to be going to some many more tournaments this year, including Wimbledon and the US Open. So there's going to be a lot more content coming onto the channel. So if you enjoy the content, as always, please like and subscribe. It really helps us grow the tennis section community and let's get into the vlog. As I always like to do when I go to any tournament, I like to get there a few hours before the first match starts just to make sure I've got enough time to be walking around the grounds and checking out the players if they're practicing and also the stalls and also make some predictions ahead of the matches. Predictions for the day? It has to be Sinner in three and Djokovic in two. Although those predictions didn't come out to be fruitful, you can definitely be happy with the fact that I got to see Stefano Tsitsipas practice against his younger brother, of course, preparing for his semi-final matchup against Yannick Sinner. And I mean, he was practicing very well. His forehands were looking amazing. I put a practice video up on my channel. If you want to check, link will be in the description. And afterwards, after he's done with his practice, we had a little look around, went to the boutique, Got ourselves some stuff, including, of course, the annual towel before we continued looking around the grounds. And I would say if there's any grounds of a Masters 1000 or any tournament you really want to see, it is the Monte Carlo grounds. And we even found this little area here, which personally I didn't know about, but I think a lot of fans did know about is these practice courts that they have. I didn't think you were able to come up here, but we found out that we could. So we ended up going up there and we saw from afar Casper Ruud was practicing. He was practicing in a private area. And so we only tried to manage to get this little clip of him after he was done with his practice. But it is just such a beautiful ground to be walking around. And as you can see there, I I'm literally on the courts that the players practice on and they are so well maintained but then it was time for our first match of the day so we headed over to the main court and we are in Monte Carlo so the prices are hefty so we did bring homemade sandwiches ahead of the Sinner City Pass semi-final. was a great win by Stefano Tsitsipas, not something that many people expected. A little bit of controversy with the line call, you would say, but then it was time for Kasper Ruud against, of course, Novak Djokovic coming out here, and this was going to be an exciting one. There was definitely a big Serbian crowd in there for Novak and he was definitely loving it. And there you go, Novak Djokovic lost the match and Kasper Ruud played extremely well. Afterwards, we had a little look around. We looked at the stores and the tennis TV area where they were sort of doing all the interviews. We had a look at the scoreboard, which was quickly updated. And also, you know, the Dunlop, the Babolat, the Nike store, and also some other designers who were there. It's such a nice area. It's very green, it's very open, and it's very fan friendly, which is great to see. But then of course, it was time for us to leave, but not before we had a look at the, of course, in Monte Carlo pool by the exit. 
Thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know in the comment section below what you enjoyed, what you didn't, and what you want me to bring onto the channel this year. We've got so much content coming onto the channel. I'm going to so many tournaments. So I hope that you guys enjoy. And please subscribe because it really helps us grow the tennis section community.